What's up, Ghosts and Ghouls? It's the one, the only, JT Ripper, and I'm here with... Dot of Thunder. And we're back with another review, yet again, with 2023's Cobweb. Yep, Cobweb is now on Hulu for everybody. Hulu. Uh, this is one that we missed in the theaters, but we caught it on the streaming services, and since it is a 2023 movie, we're bringing you our review. Yeah, we tried to watch it in theaters. But the closest one was like what hour and a half away. Yeah, it was. Um, um, unfortunately, we did not get it. Um, you know, it was like in Concord, North Carolina, something crazy like that. Anyway, uh, yeah, it's a uh, on Hulu. Um, it's how to start with this movie. This movie is definitely one of those movies that kind of keeps you guessing until you know. Pretty much, I would say, the final 30 minutes, 20 minutes or so. Yeah. Um, you have uh, this little boy that uh, has these very creepy, odd parents that pretty much uh, keep him in the house, you know, uh, shelter him from life because they want to, uh, quote unquote, protect him. But you think that they're hurting him and... Uh, some uh, weird things start happening in the house that makes you think that it's a possession movie because they start talking about this incident where this girl uh, disappeared on Halloween uh, so many years ago. In their neighborhood. In the neighborhood. And that's why the, the parents are all spooked out because they don't want the same thing to happen to the son. Yeah. So and the son starts hearing the little like female knocks. voice. Yeah. Yeah, like knocks on the walls and... Eventually, this little voice is, help me, help me, you know, eventually, you know, I'm your sister. They're, they're going to hurt you. Like whispering stuff like that. Very uh, people under the stairs-ish. Yeah, uh, it definitely gave off that kind of vibe at first. Um, I don't know about you, but I thought it was going to go the possession route because of the little girl missing. Yeah, I definitely thought it was going to uh, do the whole supernatural haunted house type of deal. Um, I kind of figured from the very beginning that the parents, it was something more to the parents. I didn't, um, I didn't think that they were going to turn them into the, uh, the, the, the bad, like the heel, the, the villains, so to speak, like the main villains. That I don't know. Is. I, I kind of, I thought at first that they wasn't going to go that route. Then I was like, Oh, they're going to go that route. Yeah. I mean, I didn't think so. I thought it was something more to it, or at least maybe I was hoping there was something more to it because I was like, if they do that, it's kind of basic. Yeah. So I was, I guess I was kind of hoping that they didn't do that and they didn't. And, um, you know, uh, he seeks the only person in the film that kind of like tries to help him or tries to like show concern is like the substitute teacher that he yeah. knows for like 12 minutes. Yeah, but she's a loving, caring teacher, and she realizes that something is is going wrong. And um, the the movie kind of alludes that maybe the parents killed the little girl is the the route that they're going with it at first. Well, that would <clears throat> that's what made me thought it might have been a supernatural film, right? Because I mean, the voice in the walls said that I'm your sister. They killed me, or they're going to kill. Or maybe it was uh, they've killed before. Yeah, it was along that lines. And then the the voice on the walls was like, I'll show you where the body is of the little girl that they killed. And, you know, he goes in the back of the backyard and it's a little skeleton uh, skull there. Obviously, of the little they, girl that died. <laughs> they have a big ass pumpkin patch in their backyard. Yeah, it's so fucking weird. Like, 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 even if these parents were, were like, obviously, you know, um, they didn't end up being the villains or the killers, but even so, they're still fucking weird. Yeah, they they were definitely the mom was definitely like, the mom strange. was. She reminded me of the fucking aunt from Sleepaway Camp. Yeah, or you know, uh, the mother, you know. The clothes don't go on the wires. You yeah, know. or that, um, what was that mom 
it, it might have been one of the insidious or conjuring films that was, you know, like, I can't remember which film it was, but it was similar to that where she would like beat the kid or whatever or yeah. wouldn't or wanted to, I don't know. It, anyway. was, it was cool though. She did a damn good job. Um, yeah, the, I thought she was fucking crazy. The the dad, you you haven't seen the show The Boys, but um, the Highland, not Highlander, uh, Homelander, the main guy and the boys with the blonde hair, that superhero, that was the dad in this movie, hmm. and cool. he's a really good like villainous character. And I thought you know he did a very good job being that. Uh, Concerning creepy dad, because you you think that the dad cares for him, and then all of a sudden, like he'll do something to make you think that something's wrong with him, and then he'll do something like you know, like I love you, but I don't love you, but I do love you, kind of thing, back and forth. Yeah, it's um kind of like gaslighting, you know. Yeah, it's yeah. like I'm doing horrible things to you, but you're the reason why I'm doing them to you. But I love you. But I love you. Yeah. He did an amazing job. Um, and uh, heads up, we're going to do some spoilers. So if you're listening, Spoiler. if you're listening to this now, um, Spoiler. yeah, you might want to skip ahead a minute or two because uh, now we're going to talk about, you know, the spoiler part of it. And the spoiler is, is that he really did have a little sister that was living uh, in a part of the house where the parents kept him from or kept her from him because she was deformed and creepy. You know what it reminded me of the Simpsons episode Treehouse of horrors where there was like two Bart's and the other one was like creepy and looked like he had down syndrome and it kept him in a base uh, the attic. Yeah. That's what this movie like I felt I was like, man, it kinda like took this Simpson episode and like ran with it. Yeah, and <clears throat> come to find out it was, you know, the little girl was killed by this deformed thing and yeah. that's why they got him got her locked up and she's like in darkness and all this shit. Anyway, she learns to crawl creepy. Yeah. And crawl up the walls and do all this. It's a little bit of, uh, you know, classic monster where you have to suspend your belief on most of the shit because it's a horror film. I mean, it's, you know, we, we're used to so much horror um, maybe being logical and like, oh, how did that happen? But we forget that horror started out as fantastical. It's like, how did that happen? It don't matter. It's a fucking horror film. Right, you have to sus sus ah can't speak today. Sus sus <laughs> suspend your dis disbelief, belief, yes. and uh, have an open gracious. mind, and that's that's basically where you know this movie. Like, I wasn't sure about this movie until it got to that part, and I was like, oh, okay, this is turning into like what you would call like a classic, like monster type of film. Yeah. Um, they didn't say that the girl, I mean, was, you know, monstrous or anything. They, she was just deformed, but she had taught herself to like, you know, the movie's called Cobweb because she moves like a fucking spider. Yeah. And she kind of looks like one, I guess, or a fly or something. I don't know. She, she I, looks I weird. I she looked like Toothless <laughs> from How to Train Your Dragon. I mean, well, maybe that too. I mean... They did a lot of, I mean, CGI wasn't that great in the film, but they did a lot to no. to hide it. This is one time where I would say, you know, the less we see of it, the better it is. And the more we see of it, the fucking goofier it is. Yeah. So I think they did a good job of letting us see a little bit of it, but not overexposing it too much. Yeah, they, they pulled a Paul Hame and uh, accentuate the positives, hide the negatives. And one thing I really like about this movie is that there's really no deaths or anything like that until the like the last 30, 45 minutes of the yeah, film. Yeah, the motherfuckers are getting slayed. Yeah, and, you know, there's decapitations, there's head rips off, there's people being cut in two, all kinds of shit. And they really saved the blood and guts for the last part of the film, and... 
In my opinion, it worked. I mean, I definitely see how some people roll their eyes at this film and blah, blah, blah. But, you know, we've been covering a lot of possession and haunted movies and stuff like that. And if we're not, it's slashers or something like that. This one, like I said, it was kind of reminded me of a classic monster flick. And I'm okay with that because... You know, we need more monster flicks. We need more shit that is, uh, you know, unbelievable, not, you know, reboots and stuff like that. Right. 100%. You know? And I do believe that this film has all kinds of potential. If they want to go a prequel, if they want to do a sequel, they could do whatever they wanted to with this film. I mean, I know it's funny. You know, we watch a film for the first time and we watch it for what it is, but... Let's face it, this is the horror genre, and if you're a horror fan, you're always fucking thinking about, oh, sequels, prequels, all this, because it's just so common in the genre, and I think that they definitely could do a sequel or a prequel to this whole thing, and they don't even necessarily have to have the same actors in it, you know? Right. I mean, I was fine with this film, to be honest with you. I mean, like I said, I, did, I wasn't so sure up until that point, but then when they went that route... I was like, oh, classic monster type of deal. Yeah, I appreciated it. I think I think I like this one a little bit more because I am so sick of the fucking demon movies. Yeah, it was appreciated. Possession. Like uh when when they didn't go that route, um I was like, "Oh, oh. Oh, I like it." Um I was very surprised that the she convinced the the boy to fucking kill the parents. That kind of shocked me because I thought it was going to be something else that gets rid of the parents because he couldn't do it. Yeah. And well, you know, we can poke holes at it and be like, well, you know, that after he realized that he was tricked, he should have, you know, we could have said, you know, he should have reacted a little bit more. I mean, he just killed his fucking parents. But, you know, that's just minor details. I mean. You know, it's it's one of those things. I mean, I mean it's not a perfect movie, but it's no, it's, it's not a perfect. It's movie. It's a nice change of pace. They did give that one closure though, because she was like, "You're just like me," and he's like, "I'm nothing like you." And I guess that pretty much summed it up, right? But it was kind of funny that he was on board to let her out, but the moment that do damn door opened, and he just saw the eyes or saw the creepiness, he knew it was. F she he fucked up. Yeah. Like she didn't even have to do anything. Yeah, I know. That 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 part kind of threw me off and I was like it was like at this moment he knew he had fucked up. <laughs> yeah, and it was like I think he knew he was fucking up the whole time. He just wasn't sure. And he was kinda like us as the as the viewer, you know. Confused. He didn't, he didn't know if his parents was these fucking crazy people. That is like about yeah. to murder him. So uh, yeah, I thought it did a good job, but yeah. You know, we don't have to tell them where to see it because we just told them we watched it on Hulu. So yeah, it's on Hulu. If you got Hulu, guys, um, do yourself a favor, check it out. You might like it, you might not. I don't know. We liked it. I mean, if you want something that's a pretty good change of pace that's, I think, got like an hour and a half runtime, it's not very, it's not a very long movie. Um, you don't really have to get too invested in it. It's... I say it's worth the time to give it a watch. Yeah. I don't I don't know about buying it. I wouldn't maybe if it was in like a triple pack or something like that. Yeah, yeah. I don't I don't I wouldn't go out of my way to buy this, but no. you know, um I'd watch it for myself and you know, if somebody comes over and wants to watch it, you know, put it on for them, you know, yeah. it's not gonna kill you. Nah. Um but as well, always, we, we have gotta to rate. This yeah, thing. we got to give it a rating, and I'm.